Sigs and Rigs here. We're coming from my truck today, or this morning. It was very early, and um, I have bought a Uniden scanner for my truck. I am an avid scanner and police listener, so uh, I, it really helps with my job. Um, so I got one from my truck. And this is uh, the Uniden BC355N. It's very small. Um, I didn't have to... It's so small, it just fit in this little uh, indentation here in the, uh, the dashboard. It was really great. It comes with a little feet on the bottom, so if you want to set it up in your house, you can do that. And it won't move. It's got rubber feeding on the bottom that flip out but anyways um all the videos i've seen on youtube um on this because that's how i figure out what i'm gonna buy um really um you know there's not many of them that explain in real detail um what you have to do to program it it can seem really frustrating at first but you have to understand this is a a simple well, old scanner okay it looks new but it's an old style scanner you can't punch numbers into this thing it's already pre-programmed with all the frequencies that it can have so <clears throat> what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna turn it on probably something's gonna come up because I got a lot of channels already programmed okay so what you're gonna do if you want to program this you turn it on, the easiest way to turn it on, um, you hit, find your scanner frequency first, okay? My next scanner frequency in line is, um, well, let's run through these first. You got private, which is the channels that you put in, and these are the channels that are already here, and they're already programmed in, that it will find. You got close call, which you can figure out what that is on your own. I really don't care to use that. This is the weather, which is always there. And that'll always work. Um, you got, you know, search, lockout, um, band, you got program. And you got squelch and volume and all that. And hold. Alright, so what you're going to do when you turn it on is I always push private because I want to listen to my private channels. They should always just come up and scan like that, okay? So, if you want to put in another channel, it's always going to find the open, most open bank to store your channel. So, you don't have to worry about that. So, just push bin, okay? Find your frequency range. It's going to start cycling through all this all the frequencies you get close to the one you want and push hold It'll stop it and you got these up and down arrows right here mine is 460 so we're gonna go up 460 4000 there we go And if the, the frequency you're looking for is not in here, it's not going to pick it up. Because you can't put it in manually. So, 4604000. Right there. What we're going to do now is we're going to hit program. Okay. See the channel number flashing? That's what channel number it's going into. And you push private. And then to confirm it, you're going to hit program again. Now it's in there. Very simple. Um, what, if you guys have any questions, give me a buzz. Um, leave me a note or a comment or something. Uh, it's very simple to do. It, it can seem extremely complicated. I thought it was complicated at first, but once I got the hang of it, it's very easy. It's just, I have a lot of handhelds, you know, and you punch in whatever number you want, but you can't with this. So, it's really... And a great scanner. Um, I mean, it's like 7 o'clock in the morning right now, so there's not many active channels going on, but 
Um, but that's the, uh, we'll put the weather because I don't know who'll Northeast of Boston, the wind was north at 12 knots. Seas were two feet at Gulf of Maine Bui. Seas were three feet and the water temperature was 39 degrees. I was actually really surprised at how loud this thing was. And I, I knew I wanted something loud. I think there's a jack in it too, where you can put an oxy uh, cord into your into your car or your truck or whatever. They have it play out your speakers if you want. But this thing is very loud, so I'm not even worried about that. It comes with this antenna. Okay, and the suction cups on it, and you just running across your windshield like I did, and I just kept it down there, and so it's not all over the place. So uh, it works great. Uh, highly recommend it, guys. Um, it's only about seventy bucks, brand new. Um, uh, you can find them for seventy, but I've I've seen a lot of them on. Uh, eBay, where I buy like everything, go for like 90. If you can find one that's cheaper, do it. Uh, make sure it's in the box when you buy it because there's uh, a lot of things that can get damaged without it in the box and have it new. Alright, guys, gals, stay armed and safe as always, and thanks for watching my channel.